Hello student and welcome to my next video. Today we will learn from Cambridge. I explore second standard. Lesson number one, our earth. On the same page, can you see one picture? You have to guess what is shown in the picture. See for example, can you see the clouds here? This is a mountain. On top of the mountain, can you see the snow? Here is a river. Rock. There is a forest at the foothill of the mountain. This is the sun. Now let's start. Our earth is made up of land and water. Our earth, the entire earth is made up of only two things which is land and water. We have less land and more water. In some places, the earth is flat and plains. At some places we can see the earth is really flat where we can build our houses or we can do farming. The cities are built generally in plain areas. In other places it is raised. We can see the hills and mountains that is the raised form of the land. In most of the places there is water. At most of the places we can see the water. All around the earth there is air. The important gas which we need that is oxygen. We can get it from the air which is present all around the earth. Now let's study the land. Our earth has different types of land. We can see the different types of landforms on the earth. Somewhere the earth is plain, it is flat or somewhere we can see the hills and mountains which is the raised land. It has plains, forests, deserts, hills, mountains and valleys. Now let's study the types of land one by one. The first type of land is plains. Plains are vast areas of flat lands. Many different kinds of crops can grow here. See as I told you earlier, plains are the area where we can do many things. Farming also. Many people live here. Most cities, towns and villages are built in the plains. We can easily build our houses. We can easily set up the cities, villages in the plain area. So people like to stay mostly in the plain area. Depending on the season, it is either hot or cold in the plains. Maybe it is hot or cold, the climate in the plain depends on the season. Now this is about the plain area. You can see the picture where the houses are built, the trees are grown. Can you see the farming over here? The next is forest. In some places, large parts of land have different types of trees growing close to one another. These are called forest. If we see a land where different types of trees are grown close to each other, a large number of wild animals live in forest. And in forest, who lives? Large number of wild animals, tigers, lions, giraffes, etc.
but do you know students day by day this forest are getting vanished why because we the people are cutting a lot of trees for making furniture houses etc this should be stopped because trees are very useful to us when you cut one tree you should plant two trees next one is the desert the land in some parts of the earth is very very dry it is covered with sand such a place is called a desert see what is the meaning of desert where the land is fully covered with sand why because deserts have very little rain and water only a few plants can grow in desert desert receives very less rainfall and therefore there are very pla few plants grow in the desert so the land which is covered with sand it is known as desert a few animals like camels can you see the camel over here are found here very few people live in deserts why why very few people live in the deserts do you know because desert receive very little rain so it has very little water and water is our basic need we need water for our daily activities so there are very few people living in desert next one is coast the land area near the sea are called coast can you see one picture here the children are enjoying on the beach yes that sandy beach we call it a coast the land which is near to the sea there are sandy beaches near coast many people live in coastal areas in india we got western coastal area and eastern coastal area coconut trees grow very well in coastal areas coastal areas are warm and the air is wet because of the humidity is very high here the air near the coastal area is wet it makes people sweat a lot that is the coast now let's try to solve this fill in the blanks most cities and towns are built in the plains large number of wild animals live in forest coconut trees are found in coastal areas now the next one is polar region polar region is the region where you can see the snow everywhere in polar regions the land is always covered with lots of snow and ice how nice it is everywhere you can see just snow and snow very few plants grow in these areas we can see like the desert very few plants grow in the polar region also only a few animals like polar bears and seals can survive here can you see the polar bear here and see the seal only few animals can survive here because the region is very cold people live in houses made of ice slabs called igloos can you see the type of house here it is known as igloo and it is made up of snow it is made up of ice slabs 
Wow, imagine the house which is made up of ice. People living in polar regions are called Eskimos. The people who live in these areas are known as Eskimos. Let's solve these activities. Match the pictures to the places where they are found. The first one is plain. In plain area we can grow wheat. Coast. We can have many coconut trees near the coast. Desert. Camel. And polar region we have seal. Next is hills. A hill is a place which is higher than the surrounding land. Can you see the picture over here? See here it is a flat land and some land is raised. It is known as hills. Hilly areas are generally cool and pleasant. Yes, there is very cool air at the hill. It rains very often in the hills. So, the houses on the hills have sloping roofs to let the rain water flow away easily. Can you see some houses here? They are having sloping roofs. Why? Because it often rains here. And to naturally, to let off the rain water, Flow away easily. They are having the sloping ropes. The next type of land is mountains. Mountains are much bigger than hills. Some mountains are rocky. Can you see the another raised land which is also known as mountains which are much bigger than the hills. Some are full of forest and animals at some mountains you can see the snow on top of the mountains at the foothill of those mountains are forest where wild range of animals we can see and wide range of trees we can see some very high mountains are covered with Snow. Just now I told you that you can see the snow on the top of the mountains. When snow melts, water starts flowing down the mountains. In this way, a river is formed. Can you see? The water is flowing from the mountain and it becomes bigger and bigger and forms the river. Do you know children, the Himalayas are the highest mountain range on the earth and Mount Everest in the Himalayas is the tallest mountain in the world which is in Nepal. The next is valleys. A long area of low land that lies between mountains or hills is called a valley. Valleys are good for farming. See, can you see the mountains or hills all around? And this is the land between these mountains. You can get water easily in this area. So, this land is very suitable for farming and human settlement. That was about the landforms on the earth. Now let's see the next part. Water. A large part of the earth's surface is filled with water. As I told you the earth is made up of only two things. Land and water. And we have the larger part of the earth which is made up of water. So when you see the earth from the space. It looks like blue and our earth is also known as the blue planet. That is because of the water on the surface of the earth is in large quantity. Water is very important to us. 
we cannot live without water we need water for our each and every activity drinking washing clothes washing utensils bathing for the plants etc all living things need water most of the water present on the earth is salt water yes we have large amount of water on the earth but it is present in the oceans and seas and which is salty we cannot drink it or we cannot use it for our other purposes it is present in vast water bodies called oceans and seas fresh water which we can use is present in rivers lakes streams and ponds the water which is available in the rivers lakes that water only we can drink we cannot use the sea or ocean water a lot of water is also stored as ice and snow water is also present under the ground see lot of water is also stored as a snow or ice on the mountains some water is also present under the ground if you throw a glass of water on the soil it vanishes where it goes it goes under the ground can you see one picture here yes you can see again it is same as i have shown you on the front page river here this is the stream the stream comes from the mountains or hills these streams afterwards becomes bigger and bigger and form the river here it is a pond well lake all these are the sources of water from where we get the fresh water to drink or use for our other activities our earth has many beautiful things we should not spoil and destroy the water air soil forest and mountains around us we need water we need air and we get most of our food from the forest so we should not destroy them we should take care of all the surroundings we must protect our earth so have you understood the lesson let's solve this very few plants grow in polar region the ice houses in which eskimos live are called igloos the low land between two mountains or hills is called a valley let's revise the lesson earth is made up of land and water air surrounds the earth all around in some places the land is raised and in some places the land is low plains are vast areas of flat lands deserts are hot and dry lands polar regions are not suitable for most plants and animals thank you students watch this video again and again and learn the lesson we will meet for the exercise in our next video thank you